I'm here at Limassol Marina in Cyprus, I'm getting ready to get on a boat, on a boat party with digital entrepreneurs and digital nomads who live in Cyprus. And I thought it's a great idea to ask some of them how they became digital entrepreneurs and digital nomads and how they created the lifestyle freedom to be able to live wherever they love to live which is right now this beautiful island of Cyprus. And you know, I've been talking about digital entrepreneurs and creating a lifestyle business for many years, and I've been teaching this information at my seminars. But I believe 2022 and in the next one to five years going forward, the people who are able to work from wherever they want, work from home, get taxed wherever they want, move around are really the newly rich right they're the newly rich in this new economy but it takes a certain kind of mindset a certain kind of skills maybe a certain kind of business model to be able to live this lifestyle and that's what i'm going to find out i am living this lifestyle myself and my business model is digital products education being a creator, building an online brand. So I'm going to find out from these people what they do and get some additional tips for you if you want to become a digital nomad and have more lifestyle freedom running your business online. So let's get going. So we have Danya from Austria. Hi, Tanya. What do you do? Tell us what you do. Hi, Pablina. So I'm a public speaking trainer. Mm -hmm. I help entrepreneurs and executives to speak with more confidence with more enthusiasm and more impact. And I do this remotely. So, uh, you know, many speakers, many people speak on, on webinars and uh, like video meetings. And especially when you speak remotely, you, you need to speak with more yeah, enthusiasm, speak like music, you know. Exactly. Music is always so passionate. So this is what people need to do. And this is what I'm teaching. Perfect. I love it because that's what I do as well. I teach on webinars, I teach online, I teach on stage now, thank God, after the pandemic. Uh, so if uh, somebody wants to be a digital entrepreneur, work from anywhere, have this lifestyle, but also run a passion business, something that they love to do, which I'm sure this is what you do, I can see it. Uh, what are a couple of tips that you can give to them based on your personal experience? I think one of the values you need to have is liberty and freedom mm. so many people yes. who work remotely they their the biggest value is freedom mm -hmm. and so we i'm working here from cyprus or from croatia or from vienna vienna wherever i am i can work remotely and so i'm now based in cyprus and i fell in love with this island because go there where your heart sings you know, you, you feel it immediately. Mm -hmm. And this is what I felt with, with Cyprus. Because there is, and, and this is the first thing, so you have to feel good. So choose a place where you where it makes your heart sing. Then second, stay in a place where you can find a network of people. So in Cyprus we have a, a ne many networks where we can uh, speak with internationals or with German people or Austrian people so actually I know many people from the first place and third find a place where <laughs> there is good internet connection <laughs> and Cyprus there is good internet yes right? definitely yes. We, we tasted it immediately <laughs> and we we said okay yes it's it's a place where you can work r remotely oh, thank you. hi my name is Michał I'm from Poland I am a digital nomad Full on since 2020, started dipping my toes into it 2018. Um, yeah, I've been living in Cyprus for quite some time as a base. And uh, what do you do to be a digital nomad? I'm an ex-programmer. Currently I work as a consultant with payment systems industry. I do this remotely, so as soon as I figure out, I just need a laptop and a good internet connection. I wanted to explore the world more while maintaining a healthy work relationship, which is absolutely possible for uh, people who work on the laptops, like programmers and this kind of people. Great. And uh, what is a couple of tips you could give to people who want to do what you do and create the lifestyle freedom and see the world while they're you know, doing their work? 
I would definitely suggest to take it step by step. Um, rent an Airbnb somewhere for one month, literally move yourself there for one month and see how it feels, how it's uh, a life there. You will discover there are many difficulties, it's not all roses and traveling the world. You will have to learn to deal with loneliness because you will be doing things by yourself and you need to be also re responsible about your work and uh, sociable enough to approach new people in strange events and say hi, which is not so easy. <laughs> well, this is what we're doing at this event, right? Correct. We're becoming sociable. So there is a downside of being a digital nomad. I think you touched on it really well, like it gets lonely. What are maybe, if you can give us another downside, like what you faced, but and also how you overcame it, how they can overcome the downsides. One that comes to mind, it's an extension of the one I mentioned, is that um, it's lonely because you will be doing this mostly on your own. Unless you join a community that is very supportive, your friends and your loved ones even will be a bit against you, not because they don't want your happiness, but because they are afraid. Are you insane? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, another downside is it's not really a downside. You have to be a bit more organized and responsible because you will be responsible not only for l your normal day-to-day -day activities, but those things you take for granted, stability of the house, uh, your current social network, even a gym. This is all gone. You have to do it from the beginning. Um, other than that, um, I'm doing it by myself. Maybe it's different when it's a couple or a, or a family. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel competent to add to that area just yet. Um, other than that, take it slow, st step by step, and the rewards will be great because you will get to know yourself and you will be proud of your own little steps taking you in the direction you wanted to go. Great. Thank you so much. And we have Jonas the organizer of this beautiful boat party. Thank you, Jonas. <laughs> Where are you from and what do you do? Uh, I'm from Sweden and I am a programmer and designer. Perfect. And how did you become digital nomad? I mean, what are a couple of tips that you could give from your experience, from what you did to live this lifestyle where you can choose where you work from, you picked our beautiful island, thank you. <laughs> so what are a couple of tips you can give to people who want to do this? Uh, I would say thank you first for having me in your wonderful country. Uh, secondly, I don't think I define myself as a, a digital nomad in the sense, in the traditional sense, because most people tell me that I'm a slow, slow mad. <laughs> slow mad. <laughs> uh, because I move to one place, I stay there for a couple of years, and then I. So move. you think the definition of a nomad these days is somebody who moves a lot? For me, the definition of a digital entrepreneur, mostly a nomad, is somebody who can choose where they love to mm. live. So you made this choice, right? Yes. Right now, you choose where you love to live. You check different places. So yeah, couple of tips for people who want to do what you do and live the lifestyle. Um, I mean, Cyprus is a great place to set up your headquarters, so to speak, because it's so forgiving when it comes to uh, staying in the country and all the rules. So that's that's a wonderful way to just set up your uh, like corporate side, your legal part of your like digital nomad part. Then just find communities and get into them and find out about the people and they will give you so much like information activities like this cruise like i would if it wasn't for everybody here I, it would just be me on a cruise <laughs> that actually would Jonas is a person organizing the community in the city of paphos if you are going to be a digital nomad in cyprus uh, his community is called Blanchers. Yeah. And his number one tip is to set up your company in Cyprus because Cyprus is very forgiving, very hospitable, yes. nice tax system. Right? Yes, uh, for sure, for sure. I, I, I love it here. This is definitely my home, for sure. This is definitely my home. Thank you. It. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Evita. Mm, I'm Polish. Mm -hmm. I live in Cyprus since six years. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm a lawyer. Great. And um, what? do you do to be a digital nomad like how did you get started do you have your own company 
Yes, so we have a company uh, together with my partners. First is CDX Nomads Club and uh, IBCCS Tax. Mm -hmm. And within them we do tax planning uh, for entrepreneurs, expats and also digital nomads around the world, not only in Cyprus actually. Perfect. And what are a couple of tips that you can give from your own experience to people who want to do what you do and have a freedom lifestyle and work from anywhere, choose where they want to work from, how, what did you do like that you can share? Okay, so first thing um, I would like to mention here is discipline. So I think it's very important for people who travel around, uh, maybe they have this um, kind of flexibility, they still need to have some boundaries and they need to know how to really structure their their life, their calendar and it should be like, yeah, people who are successful in in terms of being digital nomads, probably they are also kind of strict uh, when it comes to work. So discipline, strict, like learn how to manage your time. Exactly, time management, yes, exactly, Th this kind of things. Mm -hmm. Because really, you can go uh, to a like, very beautiful place, but still, you need to somehow um, sit down with your laptop and do your job properly, like at the office. So, yes. Great, thank you. And maybe an additional question. Uh, are there any challenges specific to women digital nomads that maybe men don't have, if you have noticed anything? Uh, what I see and what is probably stopping women from having this more uh, flexible um, uh, life, let's say, lifestyle, is uh, this time clock that we have. You know, like men are probably not that much limited when it comes to uh, planning a family, having children. And that's changing a lot now, these days, but still you can see women um, being kind of afraid that uh, they will miss the right time to have children and to settle down somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, of course the science is coming now to help us with all these aspects. Then there are people who are really deciding to have families and travel with children mm -hmm. and that's wonderful. If you can meet such a person in your life, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, there are many couples who are traveling. If you're single, maybe you're meant to meet a person somewhere else than where you live. So why limit yourself to one place because you want to start a family if you don't have a partner? Exactly. I also have a friend, like very successful entrepreneur from another country who is single and traveling with her son. Yes. So I think, yeah, this is becoming more and more possible today if you can actually, you know, create that business model yes. first. Yes. Um, I think Any, anyway, it's it's worth to risk it because you know usually we regret things that we haven't done, mm -hmm. and what you have done really like I th I think it's it's wor yeah worth risking this kind of things. Yes. Hi, my name is Mark Misin. I'm from Estonia, currently living in Cyprus, and I'm an online instructor. I create online courses in engineering, and I sell them on Udemy. Amazing! I love it. Online course creator too. So. Um, if you would give a couple of tips to people who want to live this digital entrepreneur lifestyle, maybe they want to be course creators, what are a couple of main tips, things, so that they get started and create the lifestyle as well? So if you have something to teach and you want to share something with others, your immediate fear can be that uh, maybe your quality is not going to be that good, mm -hmm. but that's okay because uh, if you do it, and then you put it on the market, you're gonna get a lot of feedback and you will actually learn from it surprisingly fast. And uh, so I would just say, just start. Just get going, just start, just yeah. put it out there and get better yeah. along the way, yeah, we'll see. right? Overcome your fears.